Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where we inadvertently triggered a Zaid's quest, I guess. Not that we, you know, as per usual with most of the others, like we just get to see him for a bit. He doesn't get to come back to the ship. But, okay, we have, but I remember we have this bug thing. Which I'm surprised I didn't listen to the audio files, like after they got him. Once the credits go through, was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus. What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. Be waking up. This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Uh, we're still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. Okay. It's like, it's like okay, Zaid, I no, get it, but... Zaid used to work for Cerberus. I think he's up in here in one of these rooms. Maybe that one with the glowing orange button on it. Damn, wrong door. Oh, frick. We need you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. She's a recent acquaintance. How recent? Very. Uh. Shit. All right, I'm listening. Come on, Zaid, buddy. Don't do it. Oh, okay. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlock? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. Yeah, I mean, you could have avoided this, yeah. <laughs> Did those marks hurt you? I'm fine. They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. They didn't care about what I had to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. <laughs> Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. What? In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. Yeah, I... I j you can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. I just... I be able to hide. <laughs> You tried to do the right thing before, it failed because you trusted the wrong people. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Volus support, and you're going to help us make Cerberus pay for using you. <laughs> I am. I can't. I'm very convincing. You can. Also, Zaid's very convincing. Waste of everyone's time trying to appeal to a Volus's better nature, Shepard. Aphis. The colony's name is Aphis. Cerberus wants its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Yes, it's yours, Commander. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this incident. I don't know if he's gonna make it. 
You have my thanks. But... Took him long enough to spit that out. Zaid, what are you doing here? Later. C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks if you like. I feel like he has the most um, unique face out of everybody. And maybe it is partly because of the scars. But, uh... He, um, uh, Caden and we are down there. I don't know, Caden's definitely down there, but we're busy. I think we get to go do a Zaid mission right now, potentially. I can't, I can't remember if we're gonna go Recognize. somewhere. He said go to the please docks, right? One moment, I can't remember if he gets to come out with us or what. I think we usually get a little bit of a mission with... No, this is the wrong docks. Oh my god, where did they put the... I was like, can I go in there? I always see docks. You know, okay, yeah. Blah! I see docks and click the wrong one. Oh, it's, that's right! Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, my friend. I'd like to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper, Sergeant. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? I think I'll do better against the Reapers than Cerberus, ma'am. And what combat experience against Reapers are you basing this on? Um, none, ma'am. <laughs> Outstanding. Outstanding. I should... Oh, hang on. Oh, should I go... I do need to go to the hospital at some point so we can finish the, um, the saris. Wait, what? Where did he, did he say? Where is he? Oh my gosh. That's the oldest. Where is... Uh, no, oh, is that, no, what was the name of the one he gave me, freaking, what did he, where did he say to go, I am, Okay, it is the uh, refugee docks. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why he want to go to the refugee docks when we have to Just go let somewhere me know else. When you're ready to take a break. I love you, Garrus, and I will be there momentarily. But I have a sort of a psycho path. <laughs> Although I think Zaid is honestly doing this for the right reasons. You kind of overheard it in the in the uh, like the oh, the conversation that we overheard. We're like, I thought you didn't even care about the credits because Zaid's seen some stuff now, right? So he. Uh, and he's seen what Cerberus is capable of. Like, he went through the relay with us. There he is. James! Are you tattooed? James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See? There's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, 
How could I fail? How, well, right? are, are you putting the N7 on you right now? Because you're not allowed to do that until you complete the training. N1 through N6 don't even get to put that insignia on their weapons or their armor. And you're just slapping the N7 on you now? You haven't even finished the training. I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you, and you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Okay. Really? Yeah. Sure. The good advice. The good advice. <laughs> well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. Nah. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Clear. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Always. Hey, maybe we should get matched. Oh my gosh. You want me to get an N7 tattoo? N7? Sure. Or you could get my name done. Somewhere special. Oh my gosh. You're such a tease, Vega. Yes. Who, me? Such a tease. You're gonna make good on all this flirting. Uh, yeah. I was just... Mm. I didn't mean to... You know. I was just... <laughs> That's what I thought. Later, Lieutenant. Later. Yeah, ah. yeah. Careful. Careful. <laughs> no, it's like, yeah, you're gonna keep teasing. I'm gonna call you out on it. Zaid's like, I didn't want to hear any of that. What the hell are you looking at? What do you mean? Oh. What? Wondered if you'd show up, Shepard. Figured you'd be too busy recruiting goddamn armies for this war you're in charge of. I could always use more help. I bet. I've seen footage of what happened on Earth. Tell you what. I'll see if some old contacts of mine are still around. Can't promise you anything, but if enough of them are still breathing, I can lend a hand. I... What? There's no way you could have known Korlak stopped working for Cerberus. That's no excuse. I killed Korak and I'd have done right by Cerberus. No. The way I see it, those bastards owe me. There's no way you could have known Korlak I... stopped working. That's it? That's That's, no excuse. That's it? I killed oh Korlach. my gosh. Maybe this is why I didn't remember anything because nothing happens. <sighs> Alright. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Men. Uh, let's get another frustrating one out of the way. We'll leave Garrus for last. Where is... Let's go punch Caden in the face. We actually don't get to punch Caden in the face, I don't think. But I am going to try to navigate this conversation better than the one, than what I've done before. Oh. Sure, there's nobody with any conversations up here. We are seeing increased military presence, I think, because of the stuff I've, like, this, these guys. I don't think they were here until I authorized it. Pretty sure. Um, Caden's down here, I believe. The second human inspector, where are you at? Do you, do, it, look at freaking, he's all... Holding an empty drink, empty hand rather, talking to himself. All right, let's see if I can navigate this minefield of conversation. Surprised this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. Maybe it's better if we don't ask how or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed. Oh, nope, house. the romance music. And there weren't enough moments like this. With people I care about. Uh, what do you mean, what's going on with you? Caden is super introspective. This is very much up his alley. How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. I might reload some of this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with my instinct, but there's certain phrases in this conversation that Shepard sometimes says if you go strictly Paragon that I don't like. Yeah. I think it's a good time for us to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. 
So? Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Batarian shard wine. At my parents' place in Vancouver, <laughs> drank more than a few beers on their balcony looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chances. Yeah? Yeah. Lets me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. The war isn't the only thing keeping me up at night. Mm. I wonder about us. See? Us. Up till now, it was fine. I understand why you cheated. Well, see? But I still love you. See? I want to understand what <laughs> this is between us. And make it real. And that's what I want. I. What do you want? Am infuriated by that. Because freaking, I didn't cheat. He left me. I died. And then he was trying, like, I was trying to get over it. I get it. You know, and then he comes in and he's all angry. And every time he sees me, he's like trying to pick a fight. And I get it. He's like, a, he's, a, he's very, he's, he's got a lot of deep emotions. You know, he's trying to process things. He processes things differently than like Ashley does, for example. Like, I get it. He was hurt. But he hurt me also. And I didn't freaking cheat. He said he was done with me in Mass Effect 2, and then he walked away. He walked away under his own power. And then he has the gall to come back here and tell me I understand why you cheated when what happened was I met the love of my life, who I would give anything for and give anything to have back right now. You know? Like, uh, I just... They, that Caden was Caden was great. I do like Caden a lot. I really like him as a romance in Mass Effect One a lot. Maybe someday I could see myself romancing him in Three if I didn't um, have to have this conversation by romancing somebody else in Mass Effect Two. But like, uh, it's it infuriates me that he dares call it cheating when he's the one who also he specifically said that he was dating a doctor for a while so do i get to call him out on cheating do i get to call him out and say i didn't cheat you left me i found the love of my life and now i still care for you as a person and a friend which is why i like the first part of that conversation when she sits down and says softly gently we need to have a heart to heart because like i still care about caden as a person and especially if we didn't have this conversation, I wouldn't have this conversation tainting all of my other memories of him. It's just infuriating and I hate that you cannot call him out for that. You cannot call him out and say, I didn't freaking cheat. Like, and also I love Thane with all my heart. Every, like, you were like a first time boyfriend, lover, whatever. It was super fun, super great. I still think fondly of you. I moved on to somebody who was like 10 times the person I'll ever be, you know, at least in my mind, like in Shepard, like that's how I see like Shepard is like, well, okay, actually I think Shepard, I see him as 10 times the person I am, maybe more than that, but I think Shepard sees Thane as a bit of an, e like an equal, more of an equal, just um, different experiences, right? You know, like she doesn't think, I don't know, she doesn't think anybody's better or worse than she is necessarily. She just, she sees people as partners you know, as like friend partners, as lover partners, as like, like, like soldier part, I don't know, whatever it is, like, she's, she's a better person than me, but like, this just, oh, it makes me so angry. Like, I can say it here, I can be like, oh, let's just keep it friendly, but I'm pretty sure if it's, if it's what I remember, that it doesn't actually, um, like pan out the way I want it to. Anyway, I'm sorry for the, I'm, I'm actually, I'm not sorry for the, from the ramp, but I'm sorry it took a while. <laughs> I'm sorry, Caden, but we should just keep it professional. Right. Mm. Well, not the answer I was hoping for. Times are complicated. And I love oh, things! That's okay. I loved him! So, uh, when does that steak get here? Uh, incidentally, you better be buying now. What'd you call it? A sanity check? Mm sanity check yeah okay listen i don't mind having a sit down chat with an old friend an old lover you know but he does not get to say that to me it's so so frustrating you don't get to call him out on it you can like i think i, I want to say i want to be like i didn't cheat on you i found like i'm not repeating it ad nauseum i found the love of my life you know and he thinks that about me that's great i'm sorry you left me 
And then I found somebody like a gazillion times better, and I just. I, I freaking wish you could just say something. Like, more than just, hey, now nah, let's keep it professional. Do I have anybody I need to give anything to? No. I don't know. It's just, it's frustrating. Very frustrating to me. Do you have, no, okay. Some of these people look like people I can hand stuff to from a distance. I'm like, do I have anything for you? For you? For you? Oh, uh, okay. Who else? Oh, I can't look at my messages. Do we have... I don't even think they have them. Um... Oh, here. Let's check the map, actually. Oh, she's here? Did I miss her? I say she's, I was going to say, she's usually here. In in this area. But yeah. you got. I, I think I was even... I was quite heated when I first played this, too. And I think I tried to play it nice. But I was... Then I think I ended up reloading. Because I was just like, absolutely the frick not. Like, I just... Because I, I think if you do... There's something... I feel like if you maybe go the Paragon route, maybe I'm just making this up or something, but I think you apologize. You're like, listen, I'm so sorry, you know, I, things were, you know, things were, maybe she kind of says it, like, right there, where she's like, you know, things are crazy right now, but I think there's something where, like, she apologizes for how things were. She's like, you know, I think it is, yeah, if you do the Paragon, she's like, I'm so sorry, you know, I... It was just, I was so, you like left and I was like lonely and like blah, blah, blah. Let's, you know what? Let's actually go back and do it. I want to see if I'm remembering this correctly. I understand why you cheated. I want to understand what, that's what I'm. Oh, do I? Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna try it. I can't bury what I feel for you anymore. Well. And I don't want to. Well, nope, never mind. And that makes me so happy. Nope. And there are benefits to that happiness. Nope. <laughs> but more on that later. Uh, nope, not gonna have him. We need to get back to the Normandy ASAP. Ah, uh, yeah, too late. Our drinks are here and I'm gonna take my time. We need to get back to the Normandy. Would you, you call just... it? But, uh, a sanity check? Mm. I wonder I wonder if there was something they took out or if I'm just misremembering something. <sighs> oh no, we want that one. If I'm yeah, if there was like other conversation options, maybe I'll have to go back and check the old VOD, honestly. Cause I don't remember that. But I and maybe maybe to me the uh, even back in the day I was more incensed that like the we should just be friends sounds almost too apologetic. And then I didn't like that. Like, I wanted to call him out. Be like, hey. Like, I was, like, rattling the bars of my cage inside Shepard's head. I was like, what the, what do you mean, cheated? Cheated, you freaking, oh, like, <laughs> oh, people move on. And, like, for Shepard, it was really, it was really difficult to move on for, from Caden for a while. Especially because we left in, like, such, like, harsh terms, you know? And, like, obviously, like, the first part of the conversation, I, like I said, where she's like, are you okay? Like, you're not sleeping well. Like, she does care about him. I care about him. But, like, it's just that particular line and the way that Shepard doesn't call him out on it is um, just instead almost, like, apologizes. Like, hey, things were kind of crazy. And, like, it's like, no! No! <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. I was very young. No, my mom always said, she's like, I'm not surprised you became an archaeologist because you're always digging in the dirt, playing with rocks and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. 
I miss her, Shepard. Yeah. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. Or oh, wow, we're just apparently the game is like here, have a bunch of options in a row. No thank you. I, I mean it when I say that for this Shepherd in particular, Thane was was everything and that pain is too much to try to just move on with a fleeing or a serious relationship. So I guess I don't know if people were watching being like, Ooh, we're gonna get sexy times, or actually not. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lonely road for Shepherd. It'd be nice. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. No. <laughs> but I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. Hello, Shepard. Hello. I do like that we get a little bit more of Liara talking about her mother because I think that was a bit of a complaint in one where like her mom dies like right in front of her and she's like, well, that sucked. And like, yeah, they were estranged, but like I think that would almost make it worse in some ways. Like she does, I mean, she has a little bit of a moment, but it's like, I don't know, I feel like it was something that would be a constant you know, thing for a little while and, and it really hasn't been that long. It's been... Well, how long, I guess, was Shepard? How long was she dead? Was she dead for a year or two? I can't remember. And it's been six months since the end of Mass Effect 2. So maybe like two to three years. So it's been a while, but like that kind of pain doesn't, you know, it fades over time, but it, uh, it's still there. You know, like it crops up in moments. Uh, we're going we're gonna go to purgatory. Why do I gotta go to the console? Garrett, we'll leave Garris for last, but we will go to purgatory, I guess. One moment, please. See if we can be, I guess, more voyeur behavior Earth. with Edie and Joker. Anyhow, enough about my armor. Let's find the gang and celebrate while I'm still here. Right. Where'd you park? I took rapid transit. Come on, you have the fanciest ride on the Citadel. And I saw that new paint job. I, uh, I sold it a couple of weeks ago. What? But you love that car. I know. You never shut up about that car. I know. She loves you more. Me, she sold it to be able to afford that nice armor for him. Anybody need anything in here? You're still here? What are you doing here? What? This is weird. It seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. Since we took back Omega, I've been consolidating my resources for the war. It's a little easier to coordinate from here. What? So unfortunately, I'll be slumming it on the Citadel for the time being. The Blue Sun's blood pack and Eclipse are in. Is there anything on your mind? We'll talk later. I'm sure. Uh, it's very. She should definitely be consolidating her power on Omega. I know they just put her here because they want you to be able to talk to her, but it's very weird. No. Oh, they're on the. Oh no, okay, they're on the dance floor maybe, but they are not. Ooh. Uh, the banner of the first. Oh, place. sweet. Okay. Oh, this is the AP and Crest one, I think. Nice. Finally did that. Bye. Hey, Commander. I was just about to get us another round. Uh, Edie doesn't drink. So, looks like you two are having fun. Yes. Joker has been smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate since he and I agreed upon a relationship. I mean, he is happier. Aww! It seemed like you two might make a good match. I was not so certain. 
When I first presented his body to Jeff, he seemed aloof. Really? What did Joker say? He said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him. I then called him on his bullshit, and we then proceeded to talk normally. <laughs> After your encouragement, his attitude exhibited signs of change. He said he was reluctant, but you convinced him to go for it. I mean, like, there's, you know, good reasons, bad reasons, pros and cons, but, you know, it's whatever. I, did, I like that he pulled out, you don't have to conform to some feminine ideal of beauty, blah, blah, blah. She's like, BS, and he's like, you're right, I like it. <laughs> I might have helped a little. I see. Thank you for your support, Shepard. This is proving to be an illuminating experience. That, what is that? Also, what did I just do? as your personal assistance met. Yeah, well, he's the only way to get you inside. But you know I am not one. Why does he others? You don't really want to introduce yourself as an AI with Uber-based code. They would lynch you. That would be an inefficient way to render me non-functional. Oh, boy. <laughs> your turn. Counselor Tavos. Hot, but points off for attitude. Shaira, the consort. Uh, hot, I guess. Uh, this, you're creeping me out. Damage pass, Lynn, Ron. Yeah. Your turn. Counter okay. tables. And she's listing off a sorry, which is like, yeah, everybody thinks a sorry are attractive. What? She's not about that. He wants to make a profit off of it, and she is absolutely not about that. Like, I get it, there would be war profiteering. And like, the system is inefficient, right? Like, the bureaucratic system is often inefficient, but uh, ostensibly the resources are gonna go to where they need to be, you know? Or you could try to make it better, you know? Like, you can try to, um, you know, help be like, hey, <laughs> like, this is wartime, we can get these things moved quickly, you know, if you let us, or whatever, but, anyway, thank you all so much for joining me, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here, we'll probably talk to Javik, and then Gearis after this, and check out whatever consoles in the medical facility, uh, but yeah, we're doing Citadel stuff, Ooh, which I don't mind, I like, I like having a hub area, and then, like, I don't know this like it feels very real here to have like the people here and like my friends here walking around and like little things you can do to like shake things up I think this was very intentional to be able to like not be constantly running around the galaxy you know like trying to solve more like in interpersonal intrapersonal problems things that you can solve like on the citadel by helping like individuals right so anyway Thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to special Reese Cavito, my second tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Adam, my three tier patron, who is the super bestest and who I super very much appreciate. Thank you, my friend. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me. And I very much appreciate it very, very, very much. So thank you again. And I hope to see you all in the next one.